Welcome to this video about general ship knowledge. So let's talk about the terms related to a ship. Well, let's study parts of the ship. So hull is the main body of the ship. Here you can have a look and this is the main body of the ship. This is called hull. Well, hull can be divided into three parts. The forward part, midship part and aft part. And if you see carefully, the forward part ends at the stem, that is stem. And aft part ends at the stern, that is stern. All right. Now let's talk about fore and aft line. So fore and aft line is the line which runs through the length ways, that is according to the length or along the length of the ship. So suppose this is the bow and this is a stern and we are having the midpoint of the bow and midpoint of the stern and you are having this dotted line. So this is the forward, this is the forward and aft line. Well, we can say this is the line joining the middle of the bow and middle of the stern as just now I have explained and this is also called fore and aft center line. Obviously, this is an imaginary line which is passing from stem to the stern. So this is the stern and this is a stem, forward part. So from stem to stern or vice versa. All right. Now why it is important? Well, let's talk about a vertical plane which is passing through the fore and aft line. So obviously this is going to divide the ship into two halves. So if you are facing here and facing the bow, the right hand side is starboard and the left hand side is port side. Well, why it is important? Of course, it has got various significance. So one is the ship's port. Uh, on the starboard side, the ship's boat are numbered as boat number one, boat number three, boat number five and so on. That is odd number on starboard side. And even number, that is boat number two, boat number four, boat number six, etc. that will be on the port side. So right hand side, starboard side, left hand side, port side when you are seeing the ship from stern to the bow. All right. Now let's talk about hull surfaces and uh, we start with the keel. Keel is the lowermost part of the ship. Well, that is also considered as backbone, right? So lowermost part of the ship where sides of the hull. So hull, sides of the hull, okay, one second, uh, yeah. Suppose these are the sides of the hull, say on the starboard side and the port side, meet the bottom of the ship. Then let's talk about bow. Bow is the curved surface of the forward part of the ship. Then amidship, as usual, this is the center part of the ship. All right, now let's move to the water line. Water line is the line where the ship is floating. We can call it afloat or waterborne. So the area which is above the water line, well, this one, that is, you can call it as ship side. And the area which is down below, that is, you can call it as bottom of the ship. So now let's talk about decks. Decks are continuous horizontal surfaces of the ship. So the ship is divided in various decks, a bottom platform, middle deck, main deck, upper deck, right? And uh, the deck which is exposed to weather is called weather deck. Well, there is a difference between decks and platforms or flats. So if the surface is not continuous, we can call it as flats, right? So uh, there are other decks also, say forecastle deck, the deck which is in the forecastle and the poop deck which is in the aft where you carry out the mooring operations also and then the forward also you carry out mooring operation, right. Now let's talk about terms which are applied to hull, say freeboard. What is freeboard? Freeboard is the height of highest continuous watertight deck and this is usually the upper deck above the water line. So suppose this is the water line as shown here. So this distance is 
free bolt. Now, what is the draft? Draft is this distance. Let me uh, just uh, explain the draft. A draft is the depth of keel below water line. So, this is the keel on depth of keel below water line. That is the draft. Now, we will talk about breadth and breadth uh, we can call it extreme breadth and molded breadth. So, extreme breadth means maximum beam of vessel measured from the outside edge of the shell plating. So, a ship is made up of uh, uh, some material, some shell, some plates. So, if it is measured from outside, that is the extreme breadth. Then the molded breadth, molded means uh, which is measured inside the edge of the shell plating. So, have a look here. This is the breadth. So, this is measured from inside, right? So, this is molded and this is measured from outside this is measured from outside. So, this is uh, extreme breadth. Now, let us move to the camber. Camber is round of the beam. Actually, this is the curvature of the deck in earthward shape direction and we are going to study that earthward shape is port and starboard direction. Well, if we compare the height of deck at the center and height of the deck at the side of the vessel, you will have the camber. Basically, this is the purpose is to drain away the water. Then uh, let us talk about depth as uh, we were talking about uh, beam, the extreme depth and molded depth. Extreme is something which is measured from outside and molded is something which is measured from inside. Okay. So, now let us have a look. This fellow is the camber. All right. This is the depth and if this is the water line, then this is draft. All right. And if the keel is rising like this, this is rise of floor. Now, let us talk about shear. Shear is the curvature of deck in the forward and aft direction. So, here in the forward direction, we can call it at forward shear and in aft direction, we can call it as aft shear. How it is measured? This is the height of deck at midship. So, this is the height of deck at midship and height of deck at the point considered. The difference between the two will be the shear. So, here this is aft shear and as I said, this is the forward shear. All right. Then, now let us talk about flare. Flare is outward curvature of the shell plating in the foremost part of the vessel. So, this actually provides more width to the forecastle and it prevents water coming on board. So, this is what it is. This is the curvature of a water line and here have a look in this diagram. Uh, this is the flare. This is the flare of the ship. Thank you very much.